Hello and welcome to part 4 of the Web Titan tutorial video series. In this video I'm going to go through policy creation and application. To start let's determine how the policies are applied. Go to the policies tab and global settings. The most restrictive policy application setting determines how the policies are applied. In a scenario where multiple policies are being applied to a user, with the setting set to off, the most lenient policy will be applied. For example, if you have blocked access to the social networking category in one policy and allowed the access in another policy, with this setting set to off, the user will be allowed access to those sites. With it set to on, the most restrictive policy will be applied and the user will be blocked access to social networking sites. Let's take a look at the policies themselves. Click on the Filtering Policies tab. We have some pre-created policies here. These are default on all web type machines. We've got Allow Everything, Default, Deny Everything and a Sample Policy. Allow Everything as it states would allow users access to anything. Deny Everything would deny access. The default policy will be applied to any user who does not have any other policies applied to them. Let's start by taking a look at the, the default policy. In here we've got a name and description. Under non-working times we can specify any times that are outside of work hours. For example uh, the lunch hour. So we just give it a name, select which days are applied and select the hours that are non-working. So for here we'll select uh, 1 to 2 p.m. and save. On the categories tab we can see all the available categories. Uh, any site that is not in one of these categories is considered unclassified. Uh, we'll come to that on the next tab. Here we can specify what sites we wish to allow or block access to and whether it's during work or non-work hours. For example, we can block alcohol-based sites during work time but not during non-work time. Block anonymizer all the time and so on. Uh, you can customize these as you wish. The web filter tab gives us multiple options. Uh, the filtering option on and off determines whether the policy is in use or not. Block internet access will simply turn off internet access for anyone who has this policy applied to them. Block URLs or all URLs would simply block access to all URLs. Block IP address URLs would allow name based URLs but block IP based URLs. You can allow or block HTTPS traffic. You can allow or block unclassified HTTPS traffic. So again that would be any site that has not yet been categorized. We can also block, allow or block unclassified HTTP traffic. URL content filtering. This enables Web Titan to analyze all the words in a URL uh, and search for a certain amount of keywords. Uh, a score will be given to the URL based on the keywords it contains uh, and then access will be allowed or blocked based on that score. The page content filter is exactly the same, only this configures Web Titan to scan the content of every web page for those keywords. The page download size limit allows you to set a limit on the maximum size of a, a page that your users can download. The log but do not block option will log access to the various sites and categories but would not block access to anything. The log only group name option will allow you to record access to the various sites and categories but it will only record the group name rather than the individual usernames of people who access those sites. If you have registered for YouTube for Schools you can enforce that here. The YouTube for Schools ID is configured under po Policies and Global Settings. The File Types tab allows us to specify which file types a user can or cannot have access to. The individual files themselves or file types are specified under the Filtering tab. Under Extensions we can then determine what is an executable file what constitutes uh, an audio file, video file and so on. The safe search option allows you to enforce safe search 
for four different search engines, Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Lycos. Custom allows you to set whether each one is on or off, or if you select on, it will be for enforced for all four. The Notifications tab allows you to specify an email address to receive notifications for access to specific categories or different actions that are carried out. The Bandwidth Limit tab allows you to specify how much data a user could download on a, a daily basis. At the moment this is of limited use because we cannot reset this on a, a per user basis so if someone reaches their daily limit the only option you have is to come in and increase that limit. When creating your policies, if you are unsure which category a site is in, you can simply go to the Policies Categories tab, enter the website name, and click Lookup. This will tell you which category or categories a site is part of. If you suspect that a site has been miscategorized, you can submit feedback here, enter the URL, and select which category or categories you think the site is in. If you wish, you can also create custom categories. This can be useful for providing access to sites that are not currently categorized if you have access to those unclassified sites turned off. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Please move on to video 5 where we'll discuss the available reports and history. Thank you.